All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. This is another GMS Riley collaboration once again through the spirit. I'm Brother Nakwam, GMS Mission Successful. Brother Nakam, GMS Stay Woke. Before we go any further through the spirit, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. We we'll still go out there in the hollows and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalom to all the occupants out there in the four corners of the earth, preaching the truth and sincerity out of fear of the Lord to the best of their abilities. All right. So the lesson we're going to go into today is we're blowing the trumpet. All right. Because uh, Jake out here, man, he see they see us out there in the hollows and hedges. They see us making these videos on the internet, you know, and. They're not taking heed to the sound of the trumpet, but this is what we're going to do still, though. Get the first precept. Oh, God. Isaiah, matter of fact, uh, you can do Isaiah 62 and 6 right away. God. And then you can get uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. And then whatever precepts you got, you can break them out. God. This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. Yep. I have set a watchman upon thy walls. Oh, Jerusalem. Now, who is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is the people for us a place. All right. As a matter of fact, get Second Maccabees 5 and 19, Baba Kasha. Let's prove that, man. You see? Because Jerusalem is talking about your Israelites. Okay. Your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, as well as the Israelite foreigners, according to the CDO fathers, man. All right. So, Jerusalem, you know, is the people for us a place, and we're about to prove it. Second Maccabees yeah. 5 and 19. This is Second Maccabees chapter 5, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. Yahweh Shemal Shai did not choose the people for the place sake, mm -hmm. but the place for the people's sake. So it's a it's a people for us a place, man. Alright? So when it says old Jerusalem, it ain't talking about the land, you know it's talking about the people. Which I named the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That was the internet. Mm -hmm. So back in Isaiah 62, Baba Kasha. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I said, Watchmen upon the walls, O Jerusalem. See, the Lord set us to be watchmen to the house of Israel. All right? And what are we watching? We're, not, we're watching out for the prophecies, man. Second Edges 9 and 1 says, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and the measuring tool is the scriptures. All right? So when we, that's what we go out there. We tell our people about the prophecies before they come to pass. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right, and because we're in a time of speaking right now. We're in a time of speaking these prophecies, man, before they happen. Because in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it says it's a time to speak and a time to keep silent. Right now, we're in a time of speaking the scriptures, man. All right? You got that? Yep. God. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. To everything... There is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yep. Jumping down, it says, verse 7, a time to rent mm -hmm. and a time to sue, mm -hmm. a time to keep silent mm -hmm. and a time to speak. Right, and a time to keep it silent is about to come to pass, which that's a.k.a. the famine of the word. All right? But right now, we're in a time of speaking, man, speaking these scriptures, man, prophesying. All right, which is the spirit of your hour shall when you read Revelation 19 and 10. Um. This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which shall never hold their peace. Meaning, they, meaning never, never meaning not at all, man. So we're always going to constantly keep bringing out the edification of the scriptures in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's why the, 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 the internet is flooded with this truth, man, especially YouTube. And this devil can't take it, man. That's why he's making uh, laws of censorship. What you say, what you can't say. If you say a certain thing, they'll take your videos down, you know, because we're flooding the, the, uh, the internet with this truth. That's right. It says, we should never hold their peace day nor night. Mm -hmm. Ye that made mention of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, keep not silent. Right. And I always go into that word uh, remembrance right there. It goes back to the car, which means remembrance. All right. Just like the scripture says, in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. So the ones that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua put the spirit on to remember their customs, the names of the Lord, and what they're supposed to do or what they're not supposed to do, they're going to always constantly uh, 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 talk about Yahweh Bashim Yahushua in these scriptures. Verse 7, and give him no rest mm -hmm. until he established, until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right, that's going to happen very, very soon, man. 
All right. And once again, Jerusalem is referring to the Israelites, but that's going to start with the elect. All right. Ready? Yep. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Cry aloud. Yep. Spare not. Mm -hmm. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And what are we not going to spare? We're not going to spare your feelings, man. All right. What these people think. Because we might bring out the scriptures and the person might get emotional and bend out the shape about it. But we don't care. We're still going to speak, thus if the Lord, thus if the Bible, man. The book of Acts, the fifth chapter says, we ought to obey the most high, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy rather than man. That was a bold statement by the uh, the apostles, man. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Cry aloud. Mm -hmm. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And show my people their transgressions mm -hmm. and the house of Jacob. They're Lift up that voice like a trumpet. That's how we speak loudly. That's an authoritative type tone, man. All right? And it says, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob's their sin. So that proves that we can judge, man. All right? So the servants, the prophets, say, Yahweh, Bashim, Shah, going out there on the highways and hedges, blowing the trumpet, man. They can get Joel 2 and 1, which is the scriptures. And then we're not going to care about what you feel about it. Either you repent or you're going to die. That's the main message, man, to you Israelites. Whether you like it or not. This is the book of Joel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, that's the spirit that the Lord God or something. We're in a time of speaking right now, speaking these scriptures. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Zion represents the Israelites, the monument to Zion. All right? And the trumpet that we're blowing is these scriptures, man. Everything that we see, everything that we say, we always back it up by the scriptures, all right? So we're, we're telling our people about the, the Bible, man, the prophecies that's contained in the Bible before they happen. And sound an alarm in my holy mouth. That's what we're doing, man. We're sounding an alarm, man. Telling our people that if you don't repent, you know, the, the destruction that Yahweh Bashi Shah got set forth to come here, you're going to be caught up in it. You're going to be destroyed right along with Babylon the Great. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai comes with his night hand. Right, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. And the only ones who's going to do that is the elect. They're going to they're going to hear the alarm, they're going to take heed, you know, and they're going to try to get themselves right while they still got time, man. While the two-thirds of our people, they're going to tarry until it's too late. And the doors of mercy are going to be closed, and the Lord's going to put that destruction on them. However, Yahweh Shema Shai sees fit to put them down. You looking for Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. What does uh Jeremiah six and seven say? Six and seven. Six and seventeen. So yeah, I can. You want to start at sixteen? Just go straight to the point. Get straight to the point. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter six verse seventeen. Also, I said, watchmen over you. Yep. Saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. And who are the watchmen? The watchmen are the prophets. Start off with the head apostles, the elder bishops on down, man. And we're telling you to hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Meaning the Bible, telling you to repent before it's too late. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. The word hearken means to listen, all right? Take heed. But they said we will not hearken. And that's the mindset of the majority of our people, man. They think they got better things to do with their time instead of repenting and coming back and being a man of the Lord, a servant of Yahweh Bashim Asha. So they can keep thinking that, but guess what? That's going to be to their destruction, though. All right? But guess what? That's blood off our hands, though, because we gave them the warning. All right, we tell them that if they don't repent and, and come back to the Yahweh Bashim Shah, the Lord's gonna put them to death. That's right. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. They have blown the trumpet, mm -hmm. even to make all ready. Right, we have blown the trumpet, man, which is these scriptures, man, to make all ready. We're trying to prepare the minds of our people to get ready for this uh for the spiritual battle, man. When when you're coming in to serve in the Lord. But none go to the battle. Right, but the but the majority of our people they don't want to come to this truth, man. All right? They don't want to come back and be in the Hebrews. Like they want to stay black, Latino, or Native American, man. All right. For the Israelite foreigners, they want to stay white, Chinese, you know. They want to stick to everything outside of instead of coming back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It says, For none go to the battle. Mm -hmm. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah's fierce anger it is going to be on the multitude of our people. The multitude meaning the majority. The scripture says two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed on this side, man. But the third, the, the elect, and the rest of the one-third is going to be delivered, man. Okay? That's it on that. Gone. Uh, get uh, 
Let's see. He's like, get Ezekiel 3 and 17. You know, because I kind of quoted it earlier through the spirit. And then we'll close it out on that one. Matter of fact, let me see if I can right quick. You can bring that out whenever you're ready. Fine. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Son of man, mm -hmm. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And what are the watchmen going to do? They're going to watch, man. They're going to stay on guard. They're going to be circumspect, sober-minded, all right? And that's what we're being through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing, man. We're telling them to repent or be destroyed. All right, we're giving you warning. We're giving you instruction of what you need to do and what you don't need to do according to the Bible. You want verse 18? Yeah, might as well, yeah. Okay. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And the wicked being the ones of our people, you Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you're going to surely die, man, if you don't repent and get yourself right. It says, when I say unto the wicked, that should surely die, mm -hmm. and thou givest him not warning. This is going to them seasonal Israelites, the ones that's not diligently and sincerely serving Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, week in and week out, out there on the highways and hedges, and on these videos. It, it says, "When I sent to the wicked, thou should surely die, mm -hmm. and thou givest him not warning, yep. nor speaketh to one of the wicked from his wicked way mm -hmm. to save his life. Mm -hmm. The same wicked man shall die his iniquity." Yep. For his blood will require thy hand. So he's going to die on his iniquity, which means the sin of type of sin. But that blood is going to be, going to be on that watchman's hands. So the majority of these Israelite groups out here that are claiming that they got the truth, you know, you got a lot of blood on your hands. Make it turn our people to receive the uh, the MOTB and the spider juice, man. Mm -hmm. That's blood on your hands right there, man. Yeah, if thou warned the wicked... Mm -hmm. And he turned not from his wickedness. So he want to be rebellious. He want to be stubborn. Nor from his wicked way. Yep. He should die his iniquity. Yep. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, he going to be destroyed, but we delivered our soul because he gave him the warning. He constantly went out there on the highways and hedges to make these videos, telling our people to repent before destruction come. He keep telling them over and over and over again, just like Noah did. All right. And then to that destruction come. They... And it is what it is after that. That was it on that? Yep. So Lord's when that was edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah by Shema Kakutas. Before we close out, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to his only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem Kakutash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akunas out there that's pushing this truth out of sincerity and the fear of the Lord of heart. With that, Shalom. Shalom.